Smart UV project. The Smart UV project method can be best demonstrated at a sphere. I've created one here. Smart UV project projects the UV mapping dependent of an angle between the faces. Normally you adjust the settings afterwards, but when you click at the tool, let's go into edit mode, shade UVs, unwrap, and let's choose Smart UV project. When you click here, then you get all the settings beforehand. Let's go through the settings. Angle limit defines after which angle the next UV patch gets created. Play around with the values. Smaller values create more UV patches. Higher values create fewer patches. The limit is 89 degree. I will leave it at 66 at the default values. Island margin defines the distance between the UV patches. Area weight. Well, honestly, I have no idea. The tooltip is useless, the blender manual entry non existent, and the tool does something arbitrary. I would say ask the blender developers here. I am lost. Correct aspect. With this option ticked, it takes the correct image aspect into account. Stretched UV bounds stretches the UV patches so that they fit in both directions horizontally and vertically into the UV space. This default is nasty, it is on. We don't want distorted um, UV patches. Turn it off. Ok, let's click the button and see what happens. Mm. Let's go here to blank. Let's change the color so that we see something here. And we have created six patches. We have here the last operator where we have the same settings again. And here I can show you what I mean with stretch to UV bounds. It stretches the whole thing and distorts. We don't want this. Let's have a look at the result here. Unfortunately, it's not really clean mapped from six sides. The result is not very uniform, it's a little bit frayed and a little bit off. But you can use it for quite a few things already. This can be a good base for further angle based or conformal mapping. Simply set the seams from UV patches for that. This can be done here. Mark seams from islands. And here you will now see the seams from these UV patches. That way you don't have to start from completely scratch to mark seams.